in this lecture i am going to discuss about gap junctions main points of the lesson are structure of gap junctions connections and connections gap junctions in bone cells and pancreas and difference between a gap junction and an ion channel functionally gap junctions in animal cells are like plasmodesmata in plant cells they are channels between the neighboring cells that allow for the transport of ions water and other substances structurally gap junctions are quite different from plasmodesmata gap junctions are found in invertebrates and vertebrates in case of invertebrates they are formed by proteins called pinnaxins and in vertebrates pinnaxin based junctions exist but there is an additional type based on similar proteins that is called connections in case of vertebrates and invertebrates structure is formed by complexes of six identical transmembrane proteins that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the proteins are arranged in a circle to create a channel through the plasma membrane that protrudes several nanometer from the cell surface a gap junction forms when the connections or pinnaxins of two cells align perfectly creating an open channel that spans the plasma membranes of both cells so the two cylinders form a channel of about 1.5 nanometer in diameter what is the physiological functions of gap junctions gap junctions in most metasomes metasomes are multicellular eukaryotic organisms in kingdom animalia so the cells in most metasomes they are communicated by gap junctions so the cells are linked by gap junctions in vertebrates including the epithelial cells of skin endocrine glands exocrine glands gastrointestinal tract renal urinary tract smooth muscles cardiac muscles bone some neurons and glial cells gap junctions allow osteocytes osteocytes are living bone cells which are buried deep in the bone so gap junctions that allow osteocytes which are buried deep in the bone to maintain cellular supply line to acquire nutrients from distant blood vessels smooth muscles which are present in the stomach and in the eye are not striated because its actin and myosin filaments are not organized into myofibrils or into sarcomere so the fibers of smooth muscle tissue function as a unit and they are connected by gap junctions so gap junctions are present in smooth muscle fibers cells they control the passage of materials through the gap junctions by opening and closing the channel for example cells in pancreas are linked by gap junctions if one of a group of cells is stimulated to secrete insulin hormone the signal is passed through the gap junctions to other cells in the cluster so the gap junctions are communicating junctions gap junctions are not only connecting the plasma membranes but also contain channels that connects the cytoplasm of adjacent cells mm. now what is the difference between a gap junction and an ion channel in cells as we know gap junctions are composed of two hemi channels one per cell each with six connections sub units they enable the passive diffusion of compounds between the two cells connected by gap junctions ion channels allow the flow of ions in and out of the cell depending on electrochemical gradient most ion channels are specific for ions only for example potassium ions they do not allow the flow of molecules ion channels do not connect the two cells directly an ion channel enable the rapid flow of ions from extracellular to intracellular space and vice versa 